Now, this uh, this is a, a version of a fly they call the Panama fly. Now, up to this one, I'd never tied one before, so and it's a variant. It's, it's the colour variant anyway. The design of the fly is, is much the same. Um, I've tied it in a way I think it would suit maybe one or two flies I would fish with, uh, mainly in the loss. So, uh, though it is a river fly and very popular in Europe and especially France. If you do any uh, research and a look in the fly, that's what it's, I've came across. But as I say, this is a variant of the fly. It's one I think a good colour combination and it would work for me. So we're going to be tying this. Now to tie the Panama fly, I'm using a full mill hook. It's a size 12. This is the all-purpose medium. The thread I'm going to be using is the uni thread, 8O in yellow. This is to suit the colour of fly I'm tying. They have waxed the thread, so I'm ready to go. So we start at the eye. Yeah, I'm going to come down halfway and remove the waist and then I'm going to come back up half, halfway there so that gives me a position for the wings. There's two wings. Now I'm putting them on the new because I find it's easier to do that. Now the under wing, I've got two small grizzle cock hackles here so I'm going to tie these in. Now I'm going to tie them the length of the hook forward of the eye. So I'm just going to tie these on top a couple of turns can position them to suit what we want. So make sure they're secure with another two or three turns there. Now when you're happy with the, they're quite flat, I'll show you with the sitting like this like that just now. Because I've got another two to tie in. Now we trim these away, it's just a slight angle at the waist. Now we've got two, this is a, it's a dark brown chestnut colour, if you want to call it. You could use a lighter colour. It's up to yourself, but the way the grizzle is light, it's a grey. So we're doing exactly the same, same length as well. So we've got our length just to the end, just tie these on the top. With the, stay, with, with the stems and the fibres, just check where they are, I'm going to show you. Just, just checking the length at the moment, just to see where we are. Just slightly short, so I'm going to go back, it's easy to go back. Go back and then just pull them back together, make sure the tips are lined up. Length right this time, hopefully. Uh, you want to see the wings, so make sure you tie them in. Um, it's a very popular fly, this in Europe and France. And unfortunately, I've never tied it before, so this is new to me. So, what I'm doing here is I'm just seeing how they're sitting. If you can look at this point, there's the wings just now. We can fix them on the way up. It's, I'm just tying them in just now. It helps, I find it easier to do that, because then I can do the rest of the fly. Now again, I'm going to come in for the back, slight angled cut, to help give me a taper in the body. I mean, you could trim most of this away if you want, but I'm just going to get the taper out of the body. Now, starting to come down, I'm actually going to tie in the tail. Now, you could use probably cock hackle fibre or so, but in a lot of the, these Panama flies, they use tippet, so I'm going to tie in some tippet. Just bring out enough fibre, just make sure the tips are lined up, you can tear that away. Length, you're looking, at least the body length. And then what we do is we catch it in at the top, and we wind down. You see the taper there as we wind. I'm winding to them in practically in line with the bar with the hook, which is there. Obviously come in and take away the excess. We should, usually I trim that first, but... Uh, We'll get away. That's fine. The body hackles, I've actually got a body hackle, it's basically a palmer. Yeah, I'm using a dyed olive. We're well, saying that it's dyed olive, it's what it is. This is an actual dun or grey Hebert Miner uh, saddle, cock saddle, which I dyed because it's grey and you dye it yellow, you get a lovely olive. That's just the colour you get. Depends on how dark the olive is, you get, it depends on the grey itself. Now what we do is remove the stem fibres so we can tie it in. A couple of turns. Now the body, you could use the thread as a body, but what I'm going to do here is I've got some raffia. Some yellow raffia. Isn't that it's a artificial raffia? You see in the colour. Now what you do is you take off a length, open it out, 
and you see it just tears, tears away, you get length to suit, ideal. But before you tie it in though, just moisten it on your finger. They yeah, use a lot of this trough here in mayflies and it works really well. So I know it will work in this fly if I use it. But you can tie whatever you want. You can catch it in. Make sure it's the length of the body so you don't have any steps. We wind up to this point here, just a mill or so short of the wings. And then we just form our body. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just open that out a wee bit, just a wee step in it, and then we just work our way up. That's fine. Catch it in. Trim away, and then we can bring our hackle up. Now these are strong hackles, so it's a good rib. Now, put away the, the hackle fibres go where they tie forward towards the like they're doing just now because that's the underside towards the, the hook or laying towards the back, it still works. Then we catch this in at the top, so we've got one, two, three, four turns up the body. Catch that in just to see what it's like. Now you could beef it up a wee bit, you could put an extra turn or two of hackle in. I actually may do that, so it's just this, I'm just looking at the way the hackle is. Just going to put in a, a turn or two extra at the top here. So, one, two, it just basically gives it a bit more of a hackle near the, the wing itself. So, when we catch these in, make sure it's nice and tight. If it wax on my thread, trim away, and you're happy. Then what I'm going to do is split these so I've got a, a brown tip and a grizzle hackle either side. You can just force it back, just force both sides back. You'll see how they start to separate. I mean you could put tons of thread which you can do just to hold them uh, apart. So I'm just going to do that, do a turn between the grizzle and the brown, lift the brown up and then do a turn in front. And this will help separate the wings. And if you can see, it's certainly certainly different. Uh, there's a pattern that's nice. Like front hackle, only the, you can, I mean, again, you could use a, a another type of hackle, but this is just a grey partridge feather. This one's from the neck. So what I'm going to do is remove the fluff. And you tighten by the tip. So. We locate the tip using the hackle pliers, so just come in, grab it like that, draw back the fibre. Then we trim it so there's about at least a mill of fibre there. Wax on my thread, just going to hold the wing back, come in, come in with the tip of the feather, make sure it's tied in, right up tight against the wing. A wee fibre there I don't want, just going to trim that away while it's held back. Get my hackle pliers, come in, and then as I say, do a hackle. Just lay this part like it was a wet. So well, I'm going to use up the hackle just to see if I've got it, and I'm happy with it. There we are. Any fibres going forward, just throw them back. Two or three turns in. Now, just take your time when you're doing this. Now, for security, I can actually, I can trim that away the way it is just now, it'd be fine. But what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to hold it back, fold it back, two or three turns, just ignore things at this point, except for that wee fibre. You can trim that away. There's always one fibre that gets, works its way forward, doesn't matter. Trim away the thread, and then there's the stem, we can just break that off, and there we go, that's the Panama fly, or a variant of the Panama fly, uh, it's an interesting design, I'll, I'll probably have, I'll tie a few just to see what they like, mixed with the wings, obviously want the wings to be slightly different lengths and different than some, not so much lengths, but uh, apart so you can see them. You don't want them mixed too much, like, but in that you can actually see a double wing. 
which looks the part as well and I'm sure will fish extremely well so anyway that's a, my take on the Panama fly all I've got to do now is just put a wee bit of varnish in there just take your time again some wire here just to clean the eye out for you and there we are and that's a, it's an olive version of the Panama fly. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.